earthquake in Turkey and Syria because here in London the significant effort to help survivors is continuing. London has a large population of people with close links to the devastated areas. Today we've been visiting a Turkish school in Beckenham. Our reporter Barry Caffrey has been speaking to volunteers doing what they can to help. Tomorrow is the last day for anyone under the age of 50 to get a COVID booster. The NHS is urging anyone who has not taken up the offer to book an appointment. Experts say the booster is still the best way to protect yourself and others. This weekend's the last... Let's see how the weather's doing. Here's Elizabeth Rizzini. Hello, good evening. Mild but rather grey, dull and cloudy today across the capital as captured by a weather watcher here in Bexley Heath and it's more or less the same again tomorrow. Overnight tonight, a little chillier than it was last night but we should still be frost free. Lows between 3 and 5 degrees Celsius. Always plenty of cloud around, a few clearer spells maybe here and there, perhaps a bit of mist into the start of the day tomorrow. Tomorrow a touch breezier but again it is set to stay dry. Just the small chance of a few spots of drizzle from the thickness of the cloud. Maybe one or two brighter spells at times, especially out towards the west but I wouldn't count on it necessarily. And temperatures a little lower than today's 10 or 11 degrees Celsius. Into the start of next week, it will feel colder by night, milder by day, and there'll be a lot more in the way of sunshine. Well, if you want to see what Londoners have been doing all week to help victims of the earthquake in Turkey,